where he hypothesizes that physics at the bottom is a cellular automata. Okay? But my reputation <coughs> in the physics community is so bad that he uh, carefully went out of his way to not mention me in any way in his paper. Okay? And then he had to talk. One of the things I, that I'm very well known for, I'm the guy who uh, first figured out about reversible computation, you know, and so on. So he, 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 in his paper, he has to have it be reversible, okay? So he decides, he's found someone else that discovered that it's reversible. That, that, physic, that these things can, cellular atomic can be reversible. He picked a guy, Norman Margolis, and he says the discoverer of reversible computation mm. and so on. Now, Norman Margolis happened to be my student <laughs> <laughs> and so on, who uh, I, you know, he said, what should I do for a thesis? And I told him, well, why don't you write up this thing? And so that's what he did, so on. So Norman, called me when he saw that and he thought it was nuts. So in any case, I know why he did all that because my name in the physics community is that I am a uh, crackpot. Well, I always thought so. Yeah, right. <laughs> but, you know, so there they, um, the, um, but the funny thing is, at Hooft, the guy who is, uh, you know, recognized worldwide as the smartest physicist alive. Hmm. And he's, his last paper is, the last paper he published is, he sent, you know what archive is? It's a place where people, it's a website where now when you write an interesting physics paper, you send it to the archive website. It's spelled A-R-X-I-V. And that's where every phys so he sent the archive his paper. It's 180 pages long. And it's on physics, cellular automata model of physics. Okay? Mm. 